Yeah, we shouldn't forget that in order to reach redemption, we can only get to it by disseminating the wisdom of Kabbalah and implementing it. That's also called disseminating, to actually implement it. We have a bit, few more minutes for questions. Whoever wants to ask, please. Yeah. As we were reading some of these excerpts, we, f we could feel that Rabash wrote it thanks to his students. He had a bunch of students he could clothe it on. Yeah. That's something different from Bala Sulam. Right. It's different because before, well, let's say before I came to him, he didn't give his letters out or his the and Shamati articles nobody saw them nobody knew about him even that same Hillel Gepstein didn't even know about Shamati when he saw it once that I was reading it in that small synagogue I, it was empty and I was sitting there reading and and waiting for Rabash, and he saw it, and he went crazy. He said, where is it? What? How did I not know about this? And then Rabash came down and said, don't show this to anybody. He didn't even want to reveal these things. And he didn't write. He wrote notes for himself when he died. I gave Fega his wife. How do you call that? Like he had a backpack I gave and she filled it. I didn't want to go picking in all those things. Nobody knew what to do. He died and, you know, the landlord dies. And she just filled that backpack with all kinds of um, just pieces of paper. But before that, those years, I said, what am I going to talk to the people? What should we write? What should we say? And he started writing those articles, at least the articles. And afterwards, the articles of Shamati gave me his letters he gave me um, and then all kinds of other things were revealed we didn't print everything we printed what he gave me that backpack but all kinds of letters that he wrote other people so they went in all kinds of other books that were published afterwards but he himself didn't write anything. Only, you know, like well, the notes we have in Rabash Volume 3. He used to write those notes for himself. That's it. And the fact that people came and he felt a good, strong desire from them that obligated him to write articles. And that's what opened them up. It's strongly felt how close that is to us. That we came over here from all over the world. We're so different and we're connected or unconnected to all kinds of... But how much you really feel that it's on us and you can express it in our words. Yeah. Okay. We are, yeah. Dennis from Moscow is asking, what does it mean to be in adhesion with a teacher? What, how is that manifested practically? To be in adhesion to the teacher is doing what the teacher says. And what does the teacher say? Engage in love of friends and from that reach the love of the Creator. Very simple. What else can the teacher tell you? Only sanctity. There's nothing more sacred than loving the created beings and loving the Creator. That is adhesion.